p.m. here and this is actually my view actually you no know, I'm not gonna spoil it I'm gonna show you guys the view tomorrow morning starving I didn't really eat today besides the protein shake that I had on the flight I met up with Rebecca who picked us up at the airport who's a good friend from Montreal and met up with Lucky I had a kale salad with some smoked tofu some yams turmeric latte veggies like the whole salad was just veggies and now we got, speaking of veggies, <laughs> we got more veggies, not too much. We got some basmati rice with some smoked tofu. And uh, yes, I'm weird and I brought some zero calorie maple syrup to sweeten it up and that's what I'm eating. But we're gonna do the grocery haul a little later. I'm gonna eat this down. I'm gonna eat this down. I'm gonna shove this down. Chow time. See you guys in a bit. at the top right here bottles of Pedialyte baby Gatorade if you guys did watch my grocery haul video from last year's nationals you'd understand that I bring these with me so there's like the full spectrum of electrolytes and I pretty much chug this whole well chug I drink this whole thing to help replenish the body after the weight cut that's what I'm pretty much gonna be sipping on and I'm gonna be mixing it with something else they're gonna see in just a bit. For fuel for after the weight cuts, we got these easy pack rice that I got from Montreal. So it's just super simple, it's super easy, and I don't have to go out of my way, I don't have to pay extra money to go downstairs to like get food, and I trust the rice, put in the microwave, kind of like really easy meal to kind of just have. Next, walnuts, you guys know it's essential. These are my healthy fats. They're one of the nuts that are high, higher in omega-3 to 6 ratio, and definitely brought some from Montreal. And next we got this really awesome new pasta. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but it's 25 calories for pretty much the whole container. And there's really nothing inside. So what they use, oh, water, cognac root, and soybean. So that's pretty much it. Zero calorie noodles just to add in the high volume. So if you guys are not fighters or if you're just like bodybuilders or just trying to cut down on weight, but have more volume into your food with your veggies, honestly like best thing to go for. Bananas all day, every day guys. Kind of like to go with the, 
the Pedialyte, definitely bananas are essential. Put in the oatmeal, and of course you guys know that I brought oatmeal. Brought half a cup, because that's pretty much the only servings that I can have. And we got chocolate move protein, which again, you guys have seen this recipe. I take the chocolate move protein, and put it in the oatmeal, kind of make like a nice, really awesome thing with it. So chocolate move protein all the way. Now I do have a vanilla one, but there isn't chocolate inside. There is actually the BCAs from Extend. It's like their mango flavor. Throughout the day, because I can't really be drinking much, I'll just sip on it, and at least I'll have an influx of amino acids coming in to help my body kind of recover, especially from the weight cut that's gonna happen, especially from the overwork of wearing like layers on layers just to kind of sweat everything out. That's really gonna help me, along with this thing, and you guys are gonna be really shocked at how great this is. You guys know like for roll-ups? It's kind of like the next best thing of fruit roll-ups. And these like these little fruit roll-up packs and they're like little circles and there's a whole bunch of them. The whole pack is 90 calories with 20 grams of carbs. So when you're trying to cut weight and you can't really eat anything, but you could just nibble on something that has 90 calories and it's gonna give you roughly 20 grams of carbs. And I usually go for two of them to give you 40 grams of carbs. That's like a great way to kind of help you before you go to bed. So when you wake up in the morning, you really don't feel like shit and it happens a lot and that's definitely one of my go-to's that i like to have as well the night of the weight cut so not really like the day of the fight but the night of the weight cut before i go to bed just to nibble on those little things really not that many calories it's not going to put any weight in my stomach that's going to affect me the next morning definitely a go-to to have veggies in you pre weigh you're better off kind of drinking it and the way to go is when i came to vancouver uh, my boy Lucky, who uh, has a, a YouTube channel, he gave me Vitago. It has hemp protein, chlorella, moringa, sea buckthorn, and that's pretty much it. 50 calories per tablespoon. Mix that in with a little bit of water and a little bit of some aminos or chocolate protein, and that's pretty much the only veggies I can really have, and it gives me the DHA, the EPA I need due to the chlorella because it's an algae and then the moringa just for health, hormone benefits, balances, especially putting your body under that much stress. You really want to have that greens to really help you get those phytochemicals in, get those nutrients in, get those minerals in. Best thing to do. So we got Zevia. So Zevia is like a zero calorie energy drink, which is pretty much just like carbonated water. We have ginger root beer and um, cream. <laughs> so these are the two things and again, coming up like to the fight, to the weigh-in. Like I said, you can't really be drinking a lot of things. So to fill up that void in your stomach that says you're hungry, having that carbonated water with a little bit of flavoring with zero calories, zero everything is pretty much what you want. So it's always these little things that are gonna help you stunt your hunger and allow you to keep doing your weight cut. So definitely a go-to 100%. Next apples. Guys, just an easy fruit to have, especially like before a fight or a couple of hours midday after post fight really really just apple it has pectin inside it stunts your hunger as well so it's a great fruit to have and then rice cakes rice cakes rice cakes and caramel salted non-salted it's a quick digesting carb so this is something that i'll definitely have like um, in the morning to replenish my carb source as fast as I can and I do follow a protocol and that will be in another vlog But just for the food that's something that I take with me I'll put maybe a little bit of like some hummus on top or anything like that or just eat them plain It's not the greatest But it's something that's just gonna help you have low calories and kind of fill up that void because those really don't do much But definitely a go to the supplement to one <laughs> So we got L-carnitine, if you guys don't know, this helps uh, metabolize fat and you do need to take it with food. So I do take it in the mornings. We got pure vitamins, again, very essential since I'm gonna be sweating out a lot due to the weight cut. So I'll definitely always have this at night just to help my body replenish all the vitamins that I lost. Definitely a go-to. Next, we got sunflower butter. Again, great. And if you guys see this one, this one doesn't have any added sugar. I used to, but my mom actually used to get me the the yellow one. It was like great macros, but it had some sugar inside. I was like, oh, this one's really sweet. And I never really read the back until I found out that that's because it was sweetened. So I really go for the unsweetened one and it has 10 times lower sodium since I'm already consuming enough. Since I already consume 
salt and speaking of salt that's one of the items we have we got pink himalayan salt i brought some with me because table salt is not my go-to next we got cacao powder definitely them for the morning coffees if you guys see me make my keto coffee you'll know that this is one of the ingredients we also have my adaptogens that i brought with me from primal herb so i kind of just put a whole bunch in the container to kind of have in the morning that's the stack and then we also brought cinnamon always to help uh, with your insulin levels definitely in the oatmeal in the morning especially because i'll be consuming a lot of carbs in the morning so just to help with that vitamin d3 as you can see it's very beautiful outside but there's not that much sun so d3 always on the go we got turmeric for anti-inflammatories again this is a great thing i like to have in the morning with my breakfast especially due to nighttime or even at night sometimes i'll just sprinkle a little bit with some water but like i said can't really be consuming a lot of water so that's more of like my morning thing or a post fight thing after the intensity that i did that's something that i'll have and then the last two things we got actually last three things we got creatine beta alanine always on stack with me coconut oil again for my keto coffee in the morning and then two zero calorie maple syrups from uh, the protein works so this one is just typical maple syrup again no calories in here and i'll definitely put that on top of my oatmeals or top of some of the rice sometimes and then we got a chocolate fudge one again zero calorie definitely a go-to another thing is a coffee grinder because the next item that i brought with me was coffee from giddy yo-yo which is mycotoxin free and probably one of the best coffees that i've had so I brought a whole bunch, kind of like a coconut container. So I kind of just break it down with the coffee grinder. And then my dad from his office found like a teeny French press. So kind of just French press the coffee, put it in a shaker bottle. We got two. So that's the kind of the coffee grinder. All right, and last but not least, guys, we got what's in the fridge. So Pedialyte, as you saw before, that's milk for pops. We got Ripple and coconut milk. So this is something that I found in Montreal, and I was surprised that I found it here. So it's soy-free, nut-free, vegan, gluten. And if you guys see the ingredients, it's 90 calories for a cup. Oh, come on. 4.5 uh, fat, and this is why. They put dha algae oil inside which is insane and amazing at the same time you don't taste anything it tastes insanely good eight grams of protein potassium is great it has a great three to one ratio of potassium to sodium so definitely a go-to we got two massive bags of frozen veggies always going to have that in the morning we got a huge bag of lettuce we got three massive cucumbers we got peppers we got a bag of frozen fruits again <laughs> don't show my dad cigars we got the berries to have in the morning with the oats and again like i know they're frozen packs and putting in the fridge but this is kind of what we're working with because that's all we got these are the zevias that i said before but a nice pack of like kind of hummus super easy and when i was at the store they didn't have any avocados that were ready and since i'm only here for five six days i don't want to wait for the avocado to be ready i kind of just bought like this pack and i'm gonna level it out for the week and then obviously got some tofu so i bought three this one i didn't cook yet because we don't have a stove so i went to my friend's room the other day and i cooked some of the tofu up so this is kind of like two packs we got a smoked sriracha one and just a normal tofu so this i'm going to be splitting out throughout the day and that's pretty much the fridge everything costing me around 200 bucks to have everything yeah the price is a little steep but this is something that you need to kind of keep your body as optimal as you can for the week it was a grocery haul that's very much needed and it's just something to kind of show you guys and teach you what it takes and what you need to have with you and those are the foods that i will be consuming throughout this whole week so if you guys do stay tuned and watch the vlogs you'll see everything in here of how i'm eating it why like when i'm eating it and all my foods so as always it's your boy that's it zach I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee, peace. Pop, you wanna punch? Punch, punch the camera. Pow!